Good day, grade 9 students. Today, our lesson is all about transforming quadratic function from general form into its standard or vertex form. You can also do it vice versa. From standard or vertex form going to general form. So, that will be our lesson for today. So, let's start. So, for quadratic function in general form, it is in the form of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Wherein, in quadratic function in standard or vertex form, it is in the form of y is equal to a quantity x minus h squared plus k. Okay, so how do we transform uh, quadratic function in general form into its vertex form or the standard form. So, for example, so we have y is equal to x squared plus 10x minus 13. So, the first thing we should do is to separate the constant term. So, it will become the quantity of x squared plus 10x minus 13. So here, the two terms inside the parentheses, you will make it as perfect square trinomial. So paano nyo gagawing perfect square trinomial yan? So you have to add constant there because the constant is missing. So plus blank. So, it is the quantity of x squared plus 10x plus blank minus 13. So, what should be added in that blank? So, you get the half of the uh, middle term, which is 10. So, what's the half of that? So, it's 5. So, the half of this middle term. What's the half? It's 5. Then, multiply that answer by itself. Kung ano man yung nakuha nyo dyang half. Multiply by itself, so it becomes quantity of x squared plus 10x plus 25. So, this is your added value. So, to para hindi ma-change yung equation natin, we have to subtract negative 25 here to your uh, separated constants. Yung sineparate mong constant na negative 13, magsasubtract ka ngayon ng 25. Kasi, nag-add ka dito ng plus 25. Para hindi ka nagdagdag ng anything. So, pag nag-add ka ng plus 25, nag-minus ka ng 25, it's like nothing happened. It's like plus 0. So, parang cancel lang yan dalawang yan. So, it's still x squared plus 10x minus 13. Parang wala kang dinagdag. So, since kailangan natin itong idagdag para gawin nating PST, magma-minus tayo dito ng opposite sign niya. So, it's positive. It, you have to subtract neg, uh, neg, you have to subtract here 25. So, minus 25. Okay. So, since this is PST, pwede na natin yan i-factor into square of binomial. So, ano ang square of binomial niya? Get the square root of this, 5. Get the square root of this, x. Then, copy the operation of, of, of the middle term, which is positive. So, magiging x plus 5 squared. The quantity of x plus 5 squared. So, ulitin ko, paano pinactor yan? Square root ng x squared, x. Square root ng 25, 5. Then, copy the, the sign of your middle term, which is plus. So, it is x plus 5 is squared. Then, where did we get negative 38? So, kinumbine kasi to. Itong dalawang to. So, paano yung kinumbine? If you have same sign, add, copy the sign. So, in natin, din konopya natin yung negative. So, negative 38. Okay. So, this is now our vertex form. So, yan na po yung vertex form natin. So, kung vertex form na yan, ito yung letter H. Kasi ang vertex form natin ay y is equal to a quantity x minus h squared plus k. So, nasan dyan yung letter a? So, yung letter a dyan, nandito, imaginary 1. 
yung minus h dyan is uh, this one. So, since it is minus, your h here is negative to make it plus 5. Okay, so your h is negative 5 and then your k is negative 38. So, if you have the vertex form, that just change the sign of this, you'll get your h. Okay, so you have uh, positive 5 here, here, so your h is negative 5. And then your k as is, kung anong value nandi dito, na constant, so that is negative 38. Okay, so your, that means your vertex is negative 5, comma, negative 38. Okay, so that's how we transform general form going to the standard form. Okay, so another example. Okay, what about this one? So if you have this, y is equal to 3x squared minus 12x minus 10. How do we transform this into the standard or vertex form? So you have here uh, a which is greater than 1. Okay, so this is now 3. So, ganun ulit, separate this constant. That will be your first step. So, it, it will become y is equal to the quantity 3x squared minus 12x minus 4. So, these two binomia, they have common factor. So, the common factor of these two, so this is an added step. Nagkaroon ng additional step kasi meron ka pang value ng a dito na which is not 1. Dapat 1 yan. So, ilalabas natin tong 3 na to. So, ang common factor nila ay 3. So, eto magiging x squared na lang. Ito magiging negative 4x. Kasi, if a factor mo as 3. So, magiging y is equal to 3 times the binomial which is x squared minus 4x. Okay. So, 1 na po yung a mo dito. So, that's the purpose of that. To make your a here as 1. So, nilabas natin, finactor natin yung 3. So, 3 times x squared minus 4x, then copy negative 4. Yung sineparate nating constant. Okay. So, etong bin, uh, binomial na to, gagawin nating perfect square trinomial. Okay. So, magpa-plus tayo dyan sa loob. So, anong ipa-plus natin dito? sa x squared minus 4x para maging PST. So, ulit, ulitin natin kalahati nito. So, anong kalahati nito? Negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2, it's positive 4. So, magkakaroon kayo dito na 3 times x squared minus 4x plus 4. Saan nakuha tong minus 12 dito? Eh, nung una nating example, kung anong dito, dapat yun din ang ilalagay doon. Yung una nating example. Pero, itong positive 4 kasi, naka-parenthesis pa siya at naka-multiply pa siya sa 3. So, ito, dapat i-multiply natin yan. Ibig sabihin, yun yun ang, yun yun ang inad natin. Nag-add tayo ng 12. So, 3 times positive 4, it's positive 12. So, nag-add tayo dito sa uh, expression na to ng plus 12. Out of here. Okay? So, kung nag-add tayo ng plus 12 dyan, magma-minus tayo dito ng 12 para parang walang nangyari dapat sa equation natin. Okay? So, yun po ang pinanggalingan nun. So, this is 3 times 4. So, positive 12 ang dinagdag natin sa expression na to. So, magma-minus 12 tayo dito sa constant na sineparate natin which is negative 4. Okay, ngayon, PST na ito. So, kung PST na to, pwede natin i-factor siya as square of binomial. So, magiging y is equal to 3. Ito yon Then, yung trinomial na to, naging square of binomial. So, paano ang nangyari doon? Square root ng x squared, x. Square root ng positive 4, 2. Then, kinopya po yung sign itong middle term, which is minus. So, ang, ang kanyang ano na, square of binomial ay x minus 2 squared. Saan ang galing itong negative 16? So, same, since parehas sila ng sign, ano ulit gagawin natin pag parehas ng sign? Ipa-plus, kukopyahin yung sign. Okay. 
So, pa-plus natin yan, kopya, negative, so negative 16. So, this is now your vertex form. So, ang A mo dito, 3. Ang H, so ang anong opposite nito? So, yung H nyo ay positive 2. Ang K nyo, negative 16. So, makukuha nyo dyan yung value ng H and K. Okay, so ang vertex natin nitong quadratic function na to ay 2 comma negative 16. Okay, so bakit kailangan natin inform into into vertex form? Para ma-identify natin yung vertex. So what's the vertex in this quadratic function? Okay? So ngayon, balik ta rin natin yung proseso. From vertex form or standard form, gagawin natin general form. Okay, so here, from vertex form, y is equal to a quantity x minus h squared plus k, gagawin natin y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, so paano naman yon? So, yung example natin kanina, ba? ito yon. y is equal to 3 quantity x minus 2 squared minus 16. Ibabalik natin sa dati nating example na ganito, ang forma niya. So, paano yon So, dito muna tayo. PEMDAS ang gagamitin. So, exponent muna. So, paano ba to i-multiply? X minus 2 times X minus 2 ito. So, ipa-foil nyo lang. X minus 2 times X minus 2. So, magiging Y is equal to 3 times X squared minus 4X plus 4. So, ito yung katumbas nitong X minus 2 times X minus 2 because of the squared. Okay, so it is x squared minus 4x plus 4. Okay, since meron pa tayong multiplier dito, nakaparentesis kasi yan. So, itong 3, i-distribute natin yan isa-isa. So, 3 times x squared, ang lalabas dyan, 3x squared. So, meron na tayong y is equal to 3x squared. Dito naman, 3 times negative 4x. So, makukuha natin dyan, negative 12x. Then, 3 times positive 4 so, meron tayong positive 12. Okay, then kukopyahin natin yung negative 16 sa dulo. Then, since dalawa ang constant natin, ikukombine natin to, natin ito. So, magiging subtract yan. Bakit? Kasi magkaiba sila ng sign. Isang positive, isang negative. So, subtract. Then, kukopyahin natin yung sign nito. Kasi mas mataas yung absolute value nito. So, kukopyahin natin yung sign yan. So, magiging negative 4. So, ang final dyan ay y is equal to 3x squared minus 12x minus 4. So, itong minus 4 na yan, dito galing yan. Tapos, kinopya na lang itong dalawa. So, this is now your stand, a general form. y is equal to 3x squared minus 12x minus 4. So, from vertex form, nagawa nating general form. Pabalik. Kanina, from general form, nagawa nating vertex form. Okay, kaya ang lesson na to ay vice versa. So, pwedeng mula sa vertex form, papuntang general form, or mula general form, papuntang vertex form. Yung kaninang example kong una. Okay, another example pa tayo ng mula vertex form to general form. Okay, so ibalik natin. Ito. So, y is equal to the quantity x plus 5 squared minus 38. So, ito yung sagot natin kanina. Ipabalik natin sa, sa general form. So, mapapansin nyo, walang number dito. So, 1 yan. So, dito na lang tayo sa square of binomial. Uunahin natin to. So, ito ay x plus 5 times x plus 5. So, anong sa, sagot dyan? Yan po ay y is equal to x squared plus 10x plus 25. So, itong trinomial na to, Galing dyan dito sa x plus 5 squared. Finoy lang natin yan. x plus 5 times x plus 5. Okay? So, ito ay x squared plus 10x plus 25. Then, kinopya yung minus 38. So, we have to combine these two. Magkaiba ulit ng sign. So, ima-minus natin. Kukopyahin natin yung negative kasi higher yung absolute value nito. So, magiging negative 13. So, kopyahin yung x squared at positive 10x. So, y is equal to x squared plus 10x minus 13. This is now your general form. Okay. So, that, that's how we transform the vertex form going to the general form.
Okay, so I hope you learned something new today. And pwede nyo ulit-ulitin yung lesson na to para mas maintindihan nyo siya. At mas uh, ma-practice nyo yung mga examples dito. Pwede kayong gumawa ng sarili nyong example. At uh, o kaya maghanap kayo ng mga exercises. Yung mga pinapagawa ko sa Google Classroom, pwede nyo gawin yun. Uh, para ma-practice nyo yung lesson natin. Para ready kayo sa quiz. Okay, that's all. Uh, goodbye class.